It's a May evening in North Dakota, and DU Nation is back with Katrina Terry, one of Ducks Unlimited's research scientists, an avid hunter, and a self-described dog lover. When hunting seasons end, dog training doesn't, and Katrina spends the spring helping to lead training at a local North American Versatile Hunting Dog Association chapter. So these are the grounds for the Central Dakota NAVDA, um, which is geared towards dogs that will uh, point, track, and retrieve. Uh, so your pointing dogs, uh, it's a lot of German short-haired pointers, German wire-haired pointers, uh, griffons. Um, we have all sorts. Today we had at least six different breeds of dogs, um, which makes NAVDA pretty cool. Typically, uh, we have Tuesday night trainings. Um, from May to mid-August, uh, which is when our last uh, test of the year is. Uh, and so we work on obedience, we work on pointing, and then steadiness uh, on the point. Because our goal is to have our dogs on point and be able to flush the bird ourselves uh, and be able to shoot in a safe manner. And so that's why we work on steadiness so much. Uh, it's In the end, you get more birds in your bag because the birds flush as close as possible. Uh, and you can make safe shots because your dog's not chasing after the bird. One thing we do a lot is we use homing pigeons. So homing pigeons uh, will home back to their loft and so we're able to use them every day. Uh, and so we have these things called electronic launchers um, and you can put the bird in there, put them in cover, um, and then let the dog either search the field, uh, find the bird, and hopefully point it. A lot of times, you know, the dog might be on point, but they might then rush in after only a second. And with the electronic launchers, we can just launch that bird up. Uh, the dog realizes they can't catch it, and that can help on that initial steadiness. Um, once that dog is a little bit more staunch on point and not running after the bird after only a, a flash point, uh, you can then start working on some more advanced steadiness. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to look at it. Uh, I use a check cord, so just a 30-foot rope attached to my dog. And that way it gives me 30 feet to catch up to him because uh, generally for young dogs or untrained dogs, the closer you get, the more likely they're going to just rush in for that bird. Um, but if you can step on that check cord, remind them that they need to hold that point until you release them. Uh, and we work also a lot on water. Uh, these versatile dogs need to be able to swim and retrieve. Uh, so we'll do some simple marks, just throwing a bumper into the water, um, having them swim out and cut their, retrieve it, and bring it back to their owner. Um, a lot of people, especially this year, are very uh, green, so we got a lot of young dogs, uh, new and inexperienced trainers. And that's what our training days is not to train people's dogs, but to help their owners uh, take all that information and keep up with training their dogs throughout the week. For me, uh, Hunting season is only a few months a year, uh, and I own a dog inside the house for 12 months out of the year. Um, so to make sure he's ready for se hunting season, in shape, conditioned for the heat, especially for that September grouse, we work him all year. Um, you know, it gets a little dicey in the winter. Oh, go. Uh, it gets dicey in the winter, but uh, once that snow gets off, running your dogs, roading your dogs, um, and just getting them conditioned really well, because you know, especially some dogs go into September, not in shape, and they're gassed after 30 minutes of running. Um, and so for NAVDA, NAVDA is a big testing system. So you sign up for these tests, and if your dog passes, they get a prize, um, and that helps with breeding purposes. Uh, but for me, I'm a very goal-oriented person. Uh, I want to sign up for tests, and then I'll, I'll work on training it, because I want my dog to be at that standard for hunting season as well. So training season is a good way to prolong your season. Eventually, when depending on the dog, we'll start shooting birds and so they can go through the entire process of finding the birds, pointing it, uh, and then retrieving it to hand. Um, so for me, I keep my dog in shape most of the year. Uh, we have fun. He loves to train, so it makes it a lot of fun.